I was directing a seminar for college professors on St. Francis in Italy one summer. And as I walked from my apartment in Siena, Italy to where the seminar room was, I, I passed a beggar boy. Whether I even noticed him at first, I don't know. But after a while, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm doing a seminar in St. Francis of Assisi. What would St. Francis do? First of all, even as a young man, he would have given the beggar money. But more than that, he would have, he would have embraced, if not literally, at least figuratively, that beggar. And so I started giving him money. And then I decided I wanted to find out who he is. He's got a name, for example. Uh, and he, he was sitting, he had his hands out for money, he had a diseased teeth, he had a diseased neck, he, he wasn't a very attractive kid, sort of scruffy and whatever. But I started talking to him, found out, A, that we didn't have any language in common other than just a few words, but he is a Roma child from Slovakia. Roma is the term we use today to describe what used to be called gypsies. And so we were able to communicate a little bit and I found out that he was there with his sister and a brother and a couple cousins and they were all beggars and that their parents brought them there and that they live in a parking lot outside the city of Siena. And so I got to know this family pretty well. And you know, I would give them a little bit of money and, and talk to them. And, and what, one of the things I learned is, A, they needed resources, but also they needed to be treated with dignity. What I'm interested in doing is, is saying, how can we help those folks? Well, let me tell you, this girl, the sister of this boy, now has two children, and they were going to a school in southern Slovakia where they were being very badly treated, not just by other students, but by the teachers. And so now we've got those two children in a school where they're safe and secure and learning. And that mother doesn't have to fear when she says goodbye to her children in the morning when they go to school. So that's led to a specific thing that the Bill Cook Foundation does, that is to say to help some of the poorest and often most badly treated people in a society to get education and to become full-time participants in that society and in addition to giving them schooling, giving them dignity.